Hi, this is Tom Shanahan, Spiritual Adrenaline. I'm here with Dr. Michael Bedix of the Age Management Center of New England. Uh, Dr. Bedix, you've had a chance now to spend some time with April, with Sean, and with Dan and go over their blood work. What common issues did you see in their blood work that you see in the blood work of other people who are in addiction recovery? Or people in general, actually, because I, I think in many cases, the addiction recovery process is amplified because of some of these deficiencies of hormone imbalances, nutraceutical deficits, uh, just general needing to improve their diet positions and exercise, which is, which is one of the most important. When you talk about hormone levels, what common hormones are usually at issue? All of the, con the people who are participating in the challenge are in their uh, mid 40s, early 50s. What are common hormonal issues for women in that age group and then men in that age group? For the, and some of them are similar. Um, actually, for women, the primary ones that we look at balancing are estrogen, progesterone, testosterone is so important in women, and yet that, that one is really ignored. Uh, DHEA, cortisol, and the other one that's oftentimes a problem is thyroid. You know, all of these hormones are on a bell-shaped curve, and too often conventional medicine doesn't really understand that you that just because they're in the low range doesn't mean that they can't be optimized. Mm -hmm. I say that because I am a recovering conventional doctor. <laughs> and I know that if we do improve the balance, that we're going to improve the outcome of the challenge that you're... Uh, That's awesome. And thank you so much for donating your services at this point. You know, we, Dr. Bedix has taken the blood work of our participants. He's met with them today to go over their blood work. We're gonna, he's going to make certain recommendations to them and then six or eight weeks come back and we'll figure out uh, if the blood tells the truth. You, what's your line that you always... Uh, oh, Dale, the, the, uh, the blood doesn't lie. Doesn't lie. So we're going to find out from six to eight weeks when we make some modifications to their exercise routine, to their nutritional routine, and uh, their overall lifestyle whether or not we can turn things around. Right, and I think that the, the six to eight week mark is because it takes usually, someone who's uh, testosterone or hormonally deficient, it takes about that amount of time for the receptor sites to get balanced up again. But I think what you'll find is that the six to eight week mark, there will be a, oh my gosh, don't I feel better. If you go out a little bit further to 12, 16 weeks, now you really start changing, seeing some changes in, in, uh, in, uh, from an exercise standpoint in, in body, body contouring and health and endurance. Awesome. Thank you so much, Doctor. If you're interested in working with Dr. Bedix, we're going to show his website at the end of this video. I also take the whole series of videos with Dr. Bedix a few years back that are on the Spiritual Adrenaline YouTube channel. So you can check those out as well. Thank you so much, Dr. Bedix. No, Tom, it's my pleasure. I'm looking forward to moving along with you. It'll be great.